Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to The Sims 4 Vampires Let's Play. I totally just had a mind blank on what I was playing. Um, but we are back with vampires and we're actually back with Anna in this part. So if you guys are just tuning into this Let's Play now or don't know who this sim is, this is Jory's ex-girlfriend from like her college days and she actually doesn't know that Jory is a vampire just yet. They haven't seen each other so she is kind of still in love with Jory but also really angry at her, really hates Persephone's guts and pretty much just hates all vampires so... I wonder how she's going to react to the girl she's pretty much still in love with being a vampire too. I don't really know what I have planned for this part though. I don't I don't know if I want to like take her over to their house and like introduce herself. Um I mean she's obviously changed a little bit from um high school but I don't think so much so that they're literally not going to recognize her which is awkward because I feel like Persephone is genuinely gonna flip her lid. Also, Persephone is pregnant right now, so that probably won't go well either. Um, however, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know whether I want to go see um, Vlad or anything like that. I think we are... We have 30 Wolfsbane. Um, we are actually going to get a few more... Um, we don't have any garlic to harvest there, but let's see if there's any like wild garlic that we can harvest. Um, just so I can, I just want to see something because a lot of you were saying that the slay vampire interaction just comes when you're like level 15 of the vampiric lore, which I think she is. Um, where are skills? Um, yeah, she's level 15 of vampiric lore, so I want to see if she does actually have the slay vampire option. Um, because I thought it came with Emilio because he's like an evil sim, but a lot of you were just saying that it's just like there, um, when you are level 15. We aren't gonna have enough for it, um, but we, uh, we could definitely see if the interaction is there. I don't know who's a vamp and who's not though in this, uh, in this town. I mean, obviously we know Vlad is a vampire, so we might go up to Vlad's house actually and test this theory on him. We aren't gonna slay him um, just yet anyway, um, but we are gonna go and like try and see whether he has that interaction on him and whether it is just a level 15. Um, I think for that you need, you need to have the cure. So you need 30 garlic, 30 wolfsbane, and something else uh, is it 30 it can't be 30 of these can it like i can't see mosquito traps being it i think it's 30 plasma 30 wolfsbane and 30 garlic i think that's what it is um but we obviously don't have enough just yet we only have 10 of the plasma although i think there's another plasma tree somewhere um maybe like over in this part yeah there's another plasma tree so we could go get that but for now um actually we are gonna go get that <laughs> um so let's harvest that as well um i think that's all there is i don't think there's another plasma tree anywhere in forgotten hollow but i think we're gonna head up to vlad's house uh we're gonna go uh, visit the rabbit residence um we are should we take emilio yeah these two are like hatching a plan together for sure he's like the only vampire that she can actually get along with because he pretty much hates other vampires as much as she does um he wants to obviously be the grandmaster so he definitely hates vlad um so these two are definitely going to hatch a plan together, which I'm quite excited for. I quite like bringing out my evil side. I got like this in Black Widow as well. I was like, hmm, there's so much I want to do. Um, so let's go and knock on the door and see if we can actually get that interaction. We could test it on Emilio, I guess. Um, but I'm going to actions. Um, can we like go here together? Because he's going to burn in the sun otherwise. Is he not in our group? Add to group. Go here together. Emilio, get inside, you idiot. 
Okay, so we are inside. Um, complain about love life. Maybe it's just other vampires who can slay other vampires? Like, she doesn't have the option to slay a vampire. I mean, she could, like, um... She could, uh, what's the word? She could come up with a cure and give it to a vampire, but she doesn't actually have the option to slay anyone. We are gonna lie about our blood. Bad plasma, you know. We just got bad plasma. You don't want to drink from us because it just tastes real bad. Trust me, I would know. I would definitely know. You don't want to snipe me. No with those fangs. Don't snipe me with those fangs. Um, oh, she's embarrassed from an awkward encounter. And he's obviously feeling tense because he is a dayphobic. No, a dayphobic. Yes, that's what he is. Um, right, we're gonna go give a rude introduction to Vlad, of course we are. She's gonna be so rude to him. He's like the one who's created this vampire mess, or his ancestors were, but still, we're gonna be rude to him, of course. Um, hey, hey you, Vlad, listen to me, punk. What do you think, turning all these vampires? Right, let's mock his outfit. I mean, I feel like you don't want to get on the bad side of Vlad, but we're going to. Your mother was a llama, Vlad. That's why you turned out like a vampire. We're going to install his yard and his house. I mean, really, what's he, what's he compensating for in a house like this? Definitely compensating for something, I assume. Um... Wow, he's like, he like already hates us. We could fight the vampire. Should we try and fly, fight Vlad? I feel like it's an awful thing to do. But I kind of want to fight him. Oh no, he's gonna like kill us. He's gonna kill us so hard. Oh god, he's turned into his dark self. Oh wow, they are literally just slapping. Oh, and they're hovering in the air, which is always a good sign. Oh man, he's got vampire powers, so I feel like this definitely isn't going to end well. Oh, she's using garlic against him. She's whacking him with garlic. Oh, snap. He like, slayed us. He slayed all those bitches. So now we are feeling dazed, and we now despise each other. So, you know what that means? Oh wow, she's like yelling at him and everything. Okay, now. Oh, okay, so it must be when you're enemies with someone, you can then slay the vampire. So we can now slay him. Um, but obviously he's our friend, so we can't slay Emilio. That makes more sense. That definitely makes more sense. I don't know whether it's the same for Emilio, whether he can only slay his enemies, which he does have a fair few of, so it probably is that. <laughs> but that would, that definitely makes way more sense. So they have to kind of be enemies for them to slay them, because they don't want to go around slaying their friends. Okay. Oh, wow. He's just having a right go at us. I'm surprised he actually hasn't kicked us out of his house. Um, we can... We can't make the cure yet. Like I said, we need more plasma fruit. Um, but I guess we could go to Emilio's and see if, like, their trees are full of plasma. And we could, uh, we could try to get some more plasma. Um, does anywhere actually have it? Or is it just, like, that one wild tree? I guess we should really start our own. Um, but then I feel like having a plasma tree in her back garden is, like... A little bit of a uh, weird one because obviously she's not a vampire and she hates them and having a fruit that they adore is a little bit weird in your back garden because it's kind of drawing them all to it so maybe we won't do that oh wow she's actually going to hug Emilio these two are getting on like really well it's quite bizarre um we're gonna have a deep conversation with him and do a self deprecating uh, joke. Yes. Vlad, Tomorrow nobody asked you to come here. Why are you here? Why are you keeping an eye on us? Like, what the hell? I really wanna... I I don't want to because I want, like, Emilio to do it. Um, but Anna can be with us when it happens, but like, I definitely want someone to give Vlad the cure. However, not in this part. I don't know. I feel like it's harsh, though, because he's, like, a line of vampires, so... I don't know whether Persephone would um, 
would try to uh, to stop them. I mean, she probably would. He's kind of like a father figure to her, which reminds me that we kind of need to... I think I might host a dinner party at Vlad's house in the next part. Um, kind of introduce Jory uh, to Vlad and obviously tell him that we're expecting a vampire child, which he'll be thrilled about because we are carrying on those bloodlines. I mean, I'm very excited for this Let's Play. I honestly just love it. I think it's such a fun let's play i'm obsessed like if i could just record this i would i know i have loads of other let's plays and i really do enjoy them too but this one right now has just completely stolen my heart because i love the characters i love all the stories that they have they just are all so different and that's what makes me love them um but i think we're gonna go home you know what we're gonna invite amelia back we're gonna make some dinner although I feel like Amelia won't appreciate any of the food. However, we do have some plasma fruit, so we might be able to like make like a plasma fruit salad or something. Um, but we'll see. Um, so let's add him to our group again. Um, more choices. Um, actions add to group however our house is currently filled with garlic so he probably won't appreciate it but we're gonna go here together um and can you serve some lunch oh yeah he's feeling uncomfortable because like obviously we have garlic in our house um she can barely cook but i want to make uh cook can we oh yeah we can make plasma fruit salad i thought we could um, so that's what we're gonna go for. Let's do a, let's do a family size. I mean, we're probably not gonna eat it when Emilio isn't here, but we're kind of catering to our vampire guest, I guess you could say, and uh, making him a plasma fruit salad. What more could you want? Right, so we're gonna do that. That used one plasma fruit, which isn't actually too bad. Oh, watermelon and apples, okay. I saw no plasma fruit there, but it's apparently gone that colour. Which kind of looks like... This is... When you think about it, this is a blood... A blood... Oh, she just picked her ear. And I, I mean, maybe Amelia likes that kind of thing. He probably does. Um, but she... I mean, she's technically eating blood salad here, which... I feel like Anna would be kind of against. So maybe she won't eat it. Oh, no, she's going to. Oh, no, she just put it in her inventory. Okay, that is the most disgusting fruit salad I have ever seen. Uh, we're going to grab a serving of this. Um, actually, I want to call to Meal. She's like, yo, Emilio. Come on, Emilio, grab a serving. Oh, she is going to eat it. She's legit just going to eat that. Okay, there's no stopping Anna. When she wants to impress, she wants to impress. I mean, I guess she doesn't want to make Emilio suspicious, so she's going to eat that like she's a vamp. Oh, apparently Emilio doesn't want it. Are you okay? It's a poor quality. I mean, I can see... He's like, oh, no. <laughs> he really doesn't like it. Um, What should we do? Oh, he's like feeling super tired. I should have probably let him sleep. I mean, he was up all evening, so I can see why he's kind of tired right now. Sorry, Emilio. I do apologize. Um, let's gossip about the neighbors, though. Let's catch up on your sister. How's your sister doing these days, Emilio? I mean, I know, but Anna doesn't. She's not seen them, like I said. Um, maybe we'll go around to theirs after. No, I kind of want to still keep them apart a little bit. I definitely want to keep them apart a little bit. Um, but it's going to be fun when they, she, like, actually finds out that they have a vampire baby. Um, why did you just yell at us? I don't know. Um, we're going to give him a heartfelt compliment, though. Why is he outside again? You're going to die, dude. You're going to die on my porch. No. Just stop it. Stop being silly. You can go home if you want. Oh, he's like burning. Like proper burning. Get the frick inside. Oh my god. Is he like actually on fire? Oh my god. Is he gonna die? Guys, he's like on fire. Oh, he vomited. 
Ugh. What just happened? Is that what happens when vampires are out in the sun for too long? Oh, okay, dude. Oh, it might be because of all the garlic in our house, actually. Okay, well, I'm gonna ask you to leave, dude, just so you can, like, go to bed and sort yourself out. You kind of just vomited. I mean, it could have been my dreadful food. Oh, yeah, we're, we're feeling a bit foul as well. Um, but yeah, Emilio, off you go. Go to bed. Yeah, there you go. You're a bit tired. Why don't you just go hop in your coffin, okay? Okay, there we go. He's off. He's off. He's on his way. He's on his merry way. Hopefully, he'll be fine. Um, I need to get rid of this custom content. It's still so bizarre to me. It's so weird. Um, but now she's gonna go vomit. Okay, so that plasma fruit clearly wasn't the greatest. My goodness. Oh no, she's gonna go clean. But then she's gonna vomit in it. Oh my goodness, the irony. She's literally cleaning her toilet right now and as soon as she stands up, she is gonna vomit, which is so funny. I love that. Oh, come on. Oh, this is grim. Yep, there we go. Oh no, don't continue eating it. We're gonna mop that up and we're also gonna use this. She's like, you know what, that plasma fruit, it was really poor and it's making me wanna vom, but I'm gonna go eat the rest of it. No, you aren't. Stop being stupid. Has these, has this regenerated? No. I was hoping it may have, but it did not. Not just yet. Um, so why don't we go actually eat some, like, scrambled eggs? Eat some human food instead of eating freaking blood. I'm just gonna throw that out because I am not having you eat that. That is disgusting. Um, let me open this up and get rid of it. Just all go in the bin. Get in there. I do not want to eat any more blood fruit salad. No, thank you very much. I am A-OK -okay without that in my life. However, I am very excited for this baby. Hey Anna, I fancy some security. Want to come get some at the romance festival with me? Who the hell are you? <laughs> I mean, no, I mean Anna's like hella gay. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, but I think it could be fun for this video. I'm gonna say yes and bring some friends along. Oh, you know what? We're just we're gonna bring Emilio along. It's not sunshine anymore, so he shouldn't be too depressed. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And he also shouldn't like burn himself alive, which will be quite a good thing. So here we go. We are at the romance festival. I'm actually just gonna save my game quickly in case anything goes wrong. Why is he still like burning? Okay, I'm... Can we tell him to go home? It's like 7pm. He shouldn't still be on fire. I'm actually quite worried. I feel like I need to hop on as him and, uh... Because he's like... Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna remove him. Remove from group. Can we, like, tell him to go home? Because I'm genuinely scared. Or maybe add him to our group and get inside. Add to group. Um, go here together. I'm really scared. He's like gonna die. Look at him. He's physically burning. No, he's doing it again. Alright. We need to send him home. We really need to send him home. Please just go home, Emilio. Can vampires die when you're, like, not playing as them? Because I'm really scared he's going to pass away. I think I might just start playing that family and just get him home and in bed. Because I am genuinely terrified. Although he is in here now, so... Oh, please don't die, Emilio. I just want to send him home. Can we send him home? Can we just get you to go home? Travel home, Emilio. Go to bed, please. Why did I bring him back out? I thought it would be okay, because, you know, it's not night- I mean, it's nighttime now, so I didn't think he'd start burning alive in the nighttime, which is just bizarre to me, but I think he's- like, vampire energy is just so depleted that he literally can't fight it anymore. So I'm gonna- I'm gonna log on to that family. 
uh, right after I finish this part and just get him home because I am terrified that he's going to pass away. That would be the most depressing thing. Um, but let's sing a country duet with... Oh, okay, we can't sing it with Emilio. Um, who is this guy? Like, how do we know him? I, I'm not too sure. Um, I'm going to actually remove him from our group so he doesn't feel like he has to stay. More choices. Why didn't that remove him? There we go. Just go home, please. I'm so worried about you. Like, I know this isn't in Anna's, like, personality to be worried for a vampire. But I am. Because he's my little baby. And I want him to be okay and survive. What did he order? Of course he ordered a Plasma Jane. Okay, at least that'll get his thirst up. I mean, I'm not too worried about him. Um, oh, look at the toilets. They're doing the fountain show. Imagine that going up your bum. I would be, like, I would not be enjoying that. That is awful. I'd be like, no chance am I sitting on that whilst it's, like, spitting at me. Disgusting. Please, Emilio, go home. Why are you still here? Just go rest up in your coffin. Go hibernate for all I care. Oh, now he's having a go at us. He's clearly in a bad mood because he's never really had a go at us before this part. Um, but right now he's like yelled at us a fair few times. So clearly he's just in a terrible, terrible mood. But we're going to try and get back on his good side. I kind of do want them to still be friends. Um, we're praising his vampire lifestyle, which definitely wouldn't come out of Anna's mouth unless she was like trying to win Emilio over, which she still is. She definitely still thinks that Emilio can be... Um, very helpful towards her and her plan of taking down the vampire cult that has taken over. Um, which reminds me, I actually kind of want to find just random vampires in Forgotten Hollow and just turn them back into humans. But that means we're going to have to have a lot of plasma fruit and stuff like that. But I'm going to end this video here purely because I'm mainly concerned about Emilio. So like I said, I'm going to end it and then go into their family and literally just get him straight into bed. But thank you guys so much for watching this part. I'm sorry it was a bit on the shorter side, but it's like 9pm. So it was still quite long for a Sims day. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what you would like to see in the next few parts. I am definitely thinking of having that dinner party in the next part, which will be very, very fun. I love you all and I will speak to you all then. Bye guys.